What's up, you guys? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Turks and Caicos, our baby moon. This is an adventure. I know, we've never been here before. It's our first time here, day one. It is absolutely stunning. Like, wait till you see so the view. Beautiful. It's crazy. Like we're loving it. We didn't vlog yesterday. We got in yesterday and just kind of stumbled in, went to the beach for like an hour or two, and then went to dinner. So this is like the first full day. We woke up at breakfast and we're gonna get the day started. It's so sunny, beachy, beautiful. Um, we're staying at Grace Bay Club. Yeah, Grace Bay Club. Yes, and we will review throughout the process. We will show you guys everywhere we're going. Um, if you need some inspiration, I know a lot of you guys said you're coming to Turks, you wanted Rex, um, wanted to know hotel recommendations. So we're gonna give her a full review throughout the video. Check this out, come on. You guys see, look at that. Look I how mean, pretty. crazy, right? Yeah. It's kind of unbelievable. We are loving it here. How easy the flight is to get here. Yeah. It feels like you are like Somewhere. out in Fiji or something like totally. that. Or Bora Bora. Totally. I guess it feels like you're in the Caribbean, which you are. I know. But well, it's like the purest, cleanest water that I've ever seen in the Caribbean. So blue. I normally live in Nashville, Tennessee, if you guys are new around here. Um, so it was only like we had to fly to Charlotte for an hour and then it was like a two hour and 20 minute flight. So super really close, easy, actually like, quick. yeah, three and a half hours total travel time, which is not that bad to get to a place like this. Yeah. You feel like you're in another world. So we're so happy, so excited. Um, I am currently 32 weeks pregnant. So this is our last trip before we need to get home and not be traveling anywhere. I think 36 weeks is technically the cutoff, so we're still good. Yeah, but the doctor said 36 weeks. Uh, just so everyone knows, I know we announced on Instagram that we're coming here. Some people like didn't necessarily agree. Some people thought it was great. Just so y'all know, we did talk to our doctor. The doctor said it was completely fine. All she said was, if you're okay giving birth in another country, there's always the there's chance always that you could go into labor. And so. so it's like, but she's like, the chances are slim, but I just, I have to make you aware of those chances. Totally. Anyways, like we're completely fine. Got the okay by the doctor. We're yes. not breaking any rules here. Um, we're just here to have fun and enjoy these last moments before the baby arrives. I know, and we're already like scouting it out. It's very family friendly here. So we're like, we could totally bring the baby back. Yes. Really, really like I'd say that's what's cool about where we are is that it feels private, but it is still like family oriented. So you get, you still get like yeah. to see a lot of people and, and stuff like that, but it's not like you're at Disneyland or something like that. It no. feels very quiet, secluded. Yes. Um, and depending on which pool you go to, there's like an adult pool, there's a you know family friendly pool. Um, there's an adult part of the beach where no kids are allowed. There's a family part of the beach. So it's, you can kind of pick and choose what you wanted to do. Totally. Um, and who you want to be around. But even the kids sections are Quiet. Yeah. So. Anyways, let's get to the beach. We're getting a little slow start this morning. We were so tired. We slept in and pregnant Jude just, just slow Jude. So this is one of the pools. There's like three or four pools on the property. This is one of the pools. And you have the beach and the beach is like really long. And so there's a section of the beach that's adults only. But uh, this is our gorgeous view. I mean, look at that. It looks fake. Okay. So. We're gonna go down to the beach. I'll just show you guys my suit of the day. I'm wearing this really cute little crochet cover up from Beachy. I showed this in a vlog a while back when I did a little Beachy haul. I love it. Super cute. Um, and then I have on some linen shorts from Abercrombie. These are my vacation haul. And then my swimsuit is actually from Amazon. I haven't wanted to buy a ton of expensive swimsuits pregnant. So this one's like, I don't know, $10, $15. And the bottoms are just like a simple string. So that's my little beach fit. What? I'm gonna get some tacos down at the beach. Oh yeah. There's a Wait, taco where, stand at the beach. Where'd you get your swimsuit? Oh, I got it in Nordstrom, but it's Casablanca. Cute. Casablanca. I feel like I, wear, I take a lot of Casablanca um, items when I go on vacation it's very like tropical yeah, yeah yeah I usually get like one cost block item and this time I got a bathing suit I thought it was like very Easter vibes today is Easter happy Easter everybody colors yeah uh, and then this is an ALD crochet uh, ALD Amelion door or Amelion Dore however you say it and then Wega house hat H. and then these are Tom Ford sunglasses I got these like two years ago at an airport somewhere and then Birkenstocks from Urban Outfitters. I was looking for these when we were in um, France. Remember when we kept walking yeah, around in Saint Tropez and I couldn't find any, and then I finally found them on the UO. So, anywho, let's go to the bitch. Okay, I get my energy up. <laughs> let's do it. You best believe 
We brought, brought our, our Stanleys. Stanleys. Hell yes. And at breakfast this morning, it's at the buffet down in like the lobby area. Um, we asked them to fill it up with ice, and then we poured bottled water in there. Because we're not sure if the water is good here. We don't know, and with the baby, I don't yeah, want to Yeah, we don't want to risk getting a parasite or something. And I don't want another parasite. Last beach trip, I got a parasite. Oh my gosh. Was Absolutely good. worse. We brought our element from home. I drink these every morning. Electrolytes. Good sugar-free electrolytes. And it helps you get that first like bottle of water down. So right. let's hit the beach. Hit the beach, bro. Okay. Made it out to the beach. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, it's literally like I'm buzzing. There's not even a buzzing cloud light. in the sky. <laughs> I'm already sweating. I have SPF 50 on because under the spray tan, the skin has not seen the light of day in eight months. <sighs> heaven, so right? Glorious. Yeah, this is heaven, guys. It really is. It's pretty amazing. Um, I bring this ancient Greek bomb with me when I go to the beach. It's so nice. It's like lavender scent. Yes, yeah, these like lavender oil. I'll show you my lineup. It's a really good like texture. And I'm using the Kopari Sunshield Body Glow. I love it because it's like oily and shimmery, but it has SPF 45, so it's like enough SPF Good protection. where you're protected but it, like you get the glow so that the sun like catches because usually I layer sunscreen and oil um just to get both like I want the protection so that's like the perfect product because it mixes both of them I just discovered that this year really love that and then I'm also have on the first day beauty mineral sunscreen on my face it has zinc in it so really yeah, protective I should put some of that on actually yeah on your face to do that and then lastly, you gotta get the lips. So I've got on just some banana boat. I had this at home. It's uh, SPF 50 for your lips. My lips always get burnt. There's a really good one though on Amazon that's like, it's like a Caribbean. I forget that this one is so like white. I know, but it blends in. Um, there's one on Amazon I love. It smells like coconuts. And it's also SPF 50. The water feels so nice. It feels like it's like, like midsummer, like it's like the best weather. The weather is hot, but the water is just like a little cool, so you get refreshed. It's not like it's not cold bath water yet. Honestly, I haven't even picked up my book or my phone yet. I've just been we have not been on like a vacation in a while that I've just been like staring out to the sea for like two hours, like and a just thinking, vacation, yeah. yeah, just like emptying my brain because damn, yeah, we've really needed it. We've had a busy past couple months, yeah. So this is like a we nice, needed this. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, this is a nice like, re, it's a nice relaxation, come down. Yeah, highly recommend. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm laughing because some of you guys on Instagram are like, "Girl, your boobs." I'm like, "Bitch, I know my boobs are huge. I'm pregnant. What do you expect?" And someone's like, "Looks like you're gonna have a good milk supply." <laughs> I was like, "Yes, I will." <laughs> I know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna dip in the ocean really quick because I'm like bacon. I was in the ocean for like 45 minutes looking for shells. Want some shells? Want some shells. I, I brought this one over here because um, my goal was to find a full one like this. Yeah. I found some like little smaller ones, but I don't want to find a big one. I've been trying to, every time we go on a trip to the beach, I try to bring back like a rock or a shell. Yes, from the beach do. we go to. Yeah. So I have one from St. Tropez where Baby H was conceived, mm -hmm. and I want to find one here where Baby H spent his baby moon. <laughs> so it's just fun to have like one or two rocks or shells from different locations around the world that we go. Okay. Oh, Little beaches. I have one from Nice, one from St. Tropez, one from St. Sebastian. Oh, um, we've had some good travels. One from Greece. Okay. Um, anywho. Anywho, okay, I have to pee, so I need to go in the ocean. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat a taco here in a second. Okay. All right, here we are. The little taco hut. It's so cute. It's like bar and taco hut, so you can order food. Good. You can order food, um, order some drinks, and it's like right by the hotel. And then there's little tables right here. It's so cute. So we got some fish tacos. We're so excited. You wanna try it? Mm. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> I wish I could have that. Alright, I got a pina colada. 
I'm trying the local light beer. Juju got a Diet Coke. The DC. Classic. Okay. I feel like this is the perfect place to come in like March and April because you just literally just fast forward, like you time jump into summer. Oh man. It's amazing. Am I getting some birthday? No, it doesn't look like it. Have the sunscreen on. I feel like I am slightly. Thank you. I can't tell. You are on your shoulders a little bit. Good. I need that burn. <laughs> Chris me up, bitch. Chris me up. <laughs> we got the shrimp. Snapper. The lamb. Jimson's awesome. Let's go. Tacos were 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased. And it is so chill here. We just met some nice people. I'll talk to them. Hunter's ordering another drink. Or I think. Paying the bell. A shrimp taco. How you doing? Hanging in there. Oh, Sitting in the shade. Overheated pretty fast, yeah. I think I need to go to the the uh, to the the shop and get some more sunscreen. Yeah, we we should. Maybe some. Yeah, I don't know because I'm pretty pale underneath this spray tan, so I'm worried about it. But my skin's just more sensitive. How are you doing? You're looking. I'm good. I think I'm pretty red. Pretty red. <laughs> I'm jealous though. I wish I had more of a tan. That boat is whipping those. I know. I mean, donuts. I know. Look at it. <laughs> I used to do that a lot when I was little. Tubing? The tubing. At and Tahoe or what? Yeah, in Tahoe. And I would fall off. It's like kind of, it gets kind of violent. I couldn't do that now. You got some floaties going on here. Some rafters. My boobs. Tell me about it. Sorting your shells. <laughs> See which ones I want to keep for baby H. Cute. Alright, just getting back to the room. Nothing's better than getting back to a cold room that's clean. I'm drinking some water. Cold. Yes. I mean. What a day. I think we both got a little burnt. I definitely got burnt. I am freaking Go red. Look towards the thing. Yeah. Yeah, you're burnt. Red. I got a little... Look at my legs. Oh yeah, a little color. But I put on SPF. <laughs> I'm red. But Success. I was wanting to get a little burn. That's what we're here for. I here know. to relax, hang in the sun. Exactly. Feel beachy, you know? Yeah, that's the whole point. I, I would recommend, if I had to say for a baby moon, I would go right at like 30 weeks. I feel like you're not feeling like too uncomfortable yet, but I'm noticing like, Laying in a beach chair all day, like my back hurts. It's like I'm. It's hard feeling, for you to get comfortable. It's hard for me to move around, walk in the sand. So I think, which obviously this is like probably the latest I would go. But if I could recommend for anyone, 30 weeks is probably the perfect time, or earlier. But 30 would be nice because then you have like your bump and we're gonna get ready for dinner. We're gonna, we're gonna shower go up. to Coco Bistro, oh. which is apparently a really popular oh spot. So we'll see. Is it red? It's red. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna feel it in the shower. But the yeah. water feels so good out there. Uh, it is glorious. It's perfect because it's hot, but the water's kind of. Is it that Atlantic side? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a little bit cool, but like it works because it's, like it's not, so hot. It's not like it's not freezing. freezing. It's like the perfect crisp. Per like perfect. Crisp. Perfect. Like perfect. Like refreshing. But, but um, I actually booked us a tea time for the morning at 8 a.m. Yes. And I booked us for I booked both of us. Yeah. So you could ride with me. You don't have to play. We just have to pay for you. Well, but, the only thing is we're like getting paired up with other people, and I think I would just. I thought we could just like go play nine holes. Yeah. And feel it out. Just be out for a little bit, yeah. and then we can be back here for breakfast and like. Yeah. Go back to the beach. Yeah. Well, we could probably. Do a good day, you know. Eat breakfast before we leave. Well, it's eight oh five, so we need to probably leave here like at seven. Yeah. Okay. We'll I have a feeling. Out. Why don't you also call uh, the spa and maybe you can get a massage while I go if you yeah, don't feel that good. Okay, I'll do. Um, yeah. We're shower up, get ready for dinner, and we don't know where we're going. Yet. We're gonna have to call a few places. I know. But we thought about walking over to a place called Coco Bistro. That was highly recommended. Yeah. And it's like a five minute walk from here. Last night we went to a place called Infinity, which is here at this hotel, and it's a popular spot. And it was good. It was like sushi. It was good. Um, it's good food, and it's a. Uh, Highly recommended place. So like people from other hotels come to this spot called Infinity. Yeah. So we ate there the first night. Tonight we'll figure it out. But we're gonna go to Coco Bistro. We'll bring we'll it. We'll keep along. you posted. 
What's up, peeps? Gone ready for dinner. We forgot we have to get a video up tonight, so <laughs> we're frantically trying to do that. Okay. Um, we were just going to show you guys our little outfits, though. I'm wearing this cute little dress from Vici. It was in the vacation haul. My little bag from Zara. And my white shoes from Zara. I can't see them, though. Here. Little touches of white. There they are. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and uh, my hoops are Lily Gloss. Okay, what are you wearing? Beautiful. I'm on a Zara shirt. It's like a little knit. I guess this is a knit, right? I like that. Almost yeah. like a sweater material. Um, VRST magic pants. They're VRST pants. They're golf pants, but I call them my magic pants. They like can go with anything. And I have on Nakona boots. I go to yep. it, take them everywhere with me, and that's that. You look tan, I'm so jealous. Um, look at the sunset, so stunning. So beautiful, so that's our little view that we're looking at right now. Okay, the walk is only like 0.3 miles from our hotel, and we're at the Coco Bistro. So let's go press our luck. Apparently it's the best place in town, so we're gonna see. Absolutely stunning restaurant. Check this out. Which is like all palm trees, and all the tables are like mixed in. But uh, they didn't have any tables available. They said they had 212 reservations tonight. And I gave her a 20 and she brought us back here. Tip. Which, if we were to go, she goes, you can go sit at the bar and stick around to see if something comes available. And we'd have likely spent money at the bar. So I was like, here, just yeah. take my 20. Totally. And, you know. It's just like bake it into the. To yeah. The table. And she it. brought us right to a table. So we're here. Perfect. That, that works every time. But have a couple of tens laying around. Tens, 20s with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to teach you street tricks or anything, but maybe look how gorgy. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, what are you drinking tonight? I think I'm gonna get a watermelon margarita. Mmm, that they sounds also have a really good. Bistro punch, which is a secret recipe. I assume it's just like a it's probably like just like fruit punch, punch and like yeah. I also thought a Paloma would be nice because it's fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. Your little grapefruit hoe. But you I love that. With the watermelon. That sounds refreshing. It does. It yeah. does. That'll be delish, I think. So, give us your review on the watermelon margarita. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Fantabulous. I tried to sip. Actually, it tastes really good. It's like yeah. fresh, fresh watermelon juice. They made Julia a mocktail version. Mocktail version. So it's nice. And then now we have the conch two ways, which we think is kind of like a calamari. Yeah. And one side of it is fried, one side is raw, and we like it a lot. We both got seafood. We're so excited. Okay. I got oh, the black and mahi. It looks so good. And Hunter got, got the tuna, fries. and the fries are on point. I got some tuna. Gorgeous. Okay. We're gonna do first impressions. Mm. Mm. It in. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter's jealous of my order. Wait, yours are good? <laughs> Not your favorite. No, no, I like it. Mine's like a, tastes like a Caribbean dish. It does. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like plantains and rice. You like this here. Mm. That's really good. Right? Kind of barbecue sauce. It's a salsa. It's yummy. Here, try mine. Yeah, it's, it kind of reminds me of one of the dishes at George's in 30A. Yeah. Mm. So okay. good. Um, we are going golfing today, actually, this morning. Somehow this one convinced me to come golfing with him. <laughs> yeah, I found a golf course that's really, really close to the hotel. Yeah. And it looks really beautiful. So and it's like the only it. activity we're really doing because we're being so lazy. We're not like planning any like boat rides or anything. So it's probably good. And we get out and walk a little bit. But um to do breakfast at the lobby this morning. And then we only have like... Not much time. We so. gotta skedaddle. Um, I'm gonna take my seed really quickly. Me too. Do not forget this on trips. It will keep things a moving. I tell ya. It does. Um, <laughs> you guys already know. 
our obsession with seed. This is a little travel vial. This comes with, sorry, I'm trying to get it out. It comes with your order. It comes with your order. You get the regular jar and the travel vial. And then every month you get the packets or refills. All their materials are super, super eco-friendly, which is really nice. So they give you the containers the first time that you order. They give you the then, bigger round jar that we show you. And then uh -huh. they give you every month they send you the Just packet of refills, which are all the seeds yes all the symbiotics and you just refill your jars as you go um so there's no waste they're not like sending new jars new bottles every month which is just so on point for them oh yeah we've been taking seed for a solid year now mm -hmm. um it is our daily probiotic and prebiotic combined so um their daily dsl1 symbiotic is a combination of the two so there's a lot out there on the market by far they are the best they have the most like research and i feel like they're the most backed in science out of all of the probiotics that i've researched personally good for pregnant women yes um, obviously for great for travel uh we don't we don't travel without it i like to say i'm a supplement person or i like to take my supplements every day even if i forget to take my supplements i don't forget to take seed because it's yeah. that important to us and um, I feel like once you start taking it, you want to keep taking it because you see the benefits. Especially with the importance of gut health, you guys know, I think a lot of you are into your health as well. And um, gut health is so important to balance your mental health and for your overall immunity and well-being. Mm -hmm. Especially since this one, we've you know been trying to combat his autoimmune stuff. Yep. Um, seed has just like we've been more grateful than ever that we have a solid probiotic in our routine because it really is like so important to keep your good bacteria in your gut which just helps your whole body function more normally so very yes. thankful for that with all that being said y'all know we love seed and they actually let us have a nice juicy discount code which is double the discount we normally receive which they don't really do very often. Guys. No, no, no. And this like is limited never. time only. It's 30% off and it's through, it's from today, the 13th through the 25th. So just remember those dates. Order Get your seed. Don't waste time. Order it now. Um, and then if you're watching this video after that time frame, then it's just our normal discount code. And we'll leave all that down in the description box. What the code is right now through the 25th as what it will be after the 25th. So... Take advantage of it, get seed, travel with it, use it at home, make it part of your daily life. Something you can do for your health right now, right away. Um, and if you're just totally clueless, basically it's just gonna help you with your overall health, your skin health, immunity, gut health, mental health. Um, regularity, regularity is what we kind of find the most important for us. Oh yes, which and all the others, know is important. All the other things are just added bonuses that you do see, so. But you can check out their Instagram. They also have a Seed University, which has tons of research on it if you're feeling a little lost and you want some more background information. Um, but just know our 30% code info is down below for limited time only. Anywho, let's change clothes, get some breakfast, and get the show rolling. Are you are you gonna golf? I don't know. I might get too hot. It's it's kinda hot here for a pregnant lady. A little bit, I'm noticing. It's hot out here for a pen. I mean, I normally love the heat. I'm like, I love to be warm and everything, but it's just a different situation when you're pregnant. Dang, the waves are not, the waves are big today. They're big today, right? Yeah. I guess we'll be uh, golfing. I need some sunscreen. I kind of like when the waves, when the ocean's just mellow. I miss Booker. Uh, me too. Who would love golf? He would love the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get dressed. We're heading to breakfast. Basically, I had a hard time choosing hotels. If you're coming here, you might find the same situation because there's these really modern hotels that are on the edges of the islands. Well, One's Am called Amanyara. Yeah. Which Am is one of the Amman hotels. Amanyara, which is ridiculously expensive. Like Amangani like, and Amangari. There's one in Jackson Amani. Hole, one in Utah. Yeah. When we we're like, absolutely not. We're not spending $30,000. And it's pretty isolated. On a hotel. I wouldn't have been 30. But well, it still would have been a lot, but it's it's really isolated, and the beach isn't as great. It's just more of like a wellness resort where you're like, yeah, nice little koi pond and stuff like that. Like if you want to go and not talk to anyone, that's fine and spend all of your life savings, go for it. And then this hotel club is called Grace Bay Club. Yeah. And they have multiple different hotels throughout the island, but this is the main one. Yes, but this is the problem. So we 
the only thing about Grease Bay, good morning, good morning. Um, Grease Bay Club is that it's on the most beautiful beach. This is like the beach of Turks and Caicos, Grease Bay Club. And we really want it to be on this beach. And the only thing that I didn't like was that the hotel is not the most modern. So it's a little bit like, I think it's outdated. It's just like, it's still really pretty, but oh, has a little outdated. It's the first, it's the first ever hotel on the island. Yeah, it's the first ever hotel on the island. So, um, but it's still like that five, was the it's only still five star and like really nice. I know it's still a really nice hotel. Service is amazing. It's just sometimes I wanted like a little bit more of a vibe. Like I wanted it to be a little bit more modern. So I was contemplating. I was like, oh, I don't want to stay there. I wanted to stay at this one called Rock House, which is their newest hotel. Still much more modern, owned by the same brand. But then, we were on the beach yesterday. We decided to stay at Grace Bay Club, and we've been meeting people from all those modern hotels, and they're coming down to this beach for the day, like taking taxis, and I'm like, so I think I'm really happy that we stayed here. Hello. Um, and we don't have to be moving around. So I think it was the right call. This is a little breakfast spot, super cute. Anyways, that's my spiel on the hotel. So if you're feeling the same way, you're coming here and you're like, what hotel do I book? Which table is she gonna choose? <laughs> At least everything's fresh. That's mm -hmm. nice. It's fresh and hot today too. We're the first ones here. Okay, here's our little breakfast view. What a dream. Yum. Alright, we made it. Oh man, oh man. Oh, what have I got myself into? Hey, you guys. Oh, it's getting harder and harder to do things with this belly. Like, I, mama is slowing down, I'll tell you that much. Honestly, I almost stayed at the hotel, but I was like, I'll just be bored if I just like, I'm sitting there by myself. I can't really like, tan a ton because my skin is so sensitive. Like, I got really burnt yesterday and it's just like, it's just different when you're pregnant, everything hurts. I don't know. Oh. Struggle bus. Um, sunscreen. Everything is a task. I'm out of breath just sitting here. She's all hot and bothered. I am hot and bothered. Oh, it's a rough life out here. I'm just telling you. I just it's hard to do things. Did you want to put some, some sunscreen on? No. Oh. I'll do that. You know, I kind of feel bad for Juge coming with me. But well, I'm going to get shit for it. No, I mean, I chose it. I could have stayed. It is hot, though. It's it hot, hot as hot balls. It's, but, you know, it's good variety, or else I would have just sat in, the, sat in the room and probably went on TikTok for three hours. Probably. That would have been good. We can literally do like. We can leave whenever you get ready to leave. Yeah, I'll always get through nine. You are so sweaty. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just like a mess. You're like a hippo. <laughs> no, you're not. That's what it feels like, though. All right. Wish me luck. Okay, I think we're gonna end up getting play alone. Well, I'm not playing. So, that would my be tea time is in four minutes, and we're at the tea. And, and no they here. said that we were going to get paired with people. It would be awesome if we just got to play alone because then, okay. you know, we could really do our thang thang. The little tea stands are shelves, or conscious, right? So I'm just loving that. That's cute. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a lot more sand, yeah? And of course, a lot of the fairway is sand. Well. I know. Is, I've never seen a, a, a hole like this before. Well, this is good for you. Oh, look, it has everything. Yeah. You That's can like so come nice. up your distance and stuff. This is way nicer than McCabe. <laughs> For sure, McCabe's just a <laughs> shitty public course. McCabe's the public course that Hunter plays in natural. That's so 
<laughs> actually, it's, it's kind not, of a vibe. No, it's, it's one of the, it's like a really nice course for it actually being is. a public course. It but actually is, yeah. It's just like public. It's like not good golf carts. Yeah. And... Okay. Privacy. Look at the shelves, you guys. How cute, right? Usually it's just like little pegs or something. All right, Mr. Man. There you go. Gorgeous. Perfectly straight. And it's dropping right to the left of that hill. I could be the watcher. When I look up, I just can't see the ball. Because it's sunny. Okay. All right. Good shot. Great drive. Starting off strong. That ended up being perfect. Gorgeous. Perfect, huh? Here you go, caddy. <laughs> There's a bathroom in the distance if I gotta pee. I told him I said if I'm coming, we're gonna have to stop and pee a pretty couple holes, just so you know. Be there. Getting a little cocktail at the snack cart. Cute. What do you got in there? Oh, nice. What white claws are good? I've never been a white claw. Guy. I don't know. Ruby grapefruit, maybe? I would go safe yeah, on that. Gorgeous. Perfect. Perfect. Let's go. I need that white claw, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god, there's a wasp in her cart. It's fun. Oh my god. Ew. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. Stop it. No, it's not. Alright, back from the golf course. Struggle bus. Julia is hot, tired. Yeah, hungry. She was a champion. And I had a lot of fun, so I'm really happy that you made it work. I'm glad so. So thank you. At least you didn't really have to do much except sit there. No, I, I, it was fine. It's just the pregnant body taking over. Like, yeah. hot as F and then... Just everything crumbles. I was like putting ice on my back and... Ugh. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's just hot out there too. Well, we're back at the hotel now and we're going back to the heat. And I look... <laughs> I don't look like... No, you look fine. You look, I think you look great. You're just... It looks cute with my bathing suit on, but I have to take this off. <laughs> I need this so bad right now. I need a nap and a meal. I got the Mahi Mahi Club sandwich. I got the snapper tacos. Same ones as yesterday. I'll be more chatty once I eat. Coming back to life. We are still out on the beach. It is about five o'clock, just about five o'clock. It's been a little bit cloudy today, um, but still beautiful. And honestly, I've just been really sitting under the umbrella because I got a little burnt yesterday, as you can see. And oof, it's just a whole different ball game pregnant I don't know what it is I used to be beach gal and I would love to just like sit out and roast and get tan um, well and I still probably would like that not pregnant but I just feel pregnant like even right now the abrasion of the towel on my back is like killing me this bathing suit is itching um, I don't know I feel like your skin just almost becomes sort of like a baby's skin and you get really sensitive um, so it's just different. All the sensations are just harder and even walking in the sand is really difficult. Um, and honestly this belly has gotten quite large that it is a bit challenging to do things. So like I said earlier in the vlog, highly recommend taking your baby moon earlier rather than later. That has been my learning from here. It actually hasn't been that bad, but any bigger and I feel like I wouldn't even want to move around like at all well I pretty much don't want to at all this trip but I'm managing to just waddle around to the ocean and back to my chair and then to restaurants but it's quite the challenge you just don't have tons of energy and especially if you're in a hot location the nights have definitely been my best bet because we get the breeze it's a little bit cooler so like right now I'm like okay I can vlog I have some energy, some life, and I'm noticing all I get all my energy in the evening um, just because the heat isn't working against me and that has kind of been taking me down. So I'm sorry if I've been a little low energy this vlog, but I just feel a little bit like a tank. I don't feel 
like live lead you to just feel like I'm withering just a little bit. So we're definitely enjoying ourselves. Hunter and I not really spoken too many words to each other. We've just been <laughs> both Today at the beach, we've been sending the out. Zone. Yeah. And just staring out to sea. But honestly, I think we kind of needed it. We are the type of people that put tons on our plate. And so when we come on vacation, like both of us just, it's this nice to like empty your brain and your mind and just like not really, I don't know. We were saying like, we love like vacationing with people and like family and friends because it's like more to interact with and more people to talk to. But when it's Hunter and I, we just kind of just peace out and we stare out into the sea. We both like get on our phone. And I'm sure a lot of you are that way. I mean, obviously we talk and visit like at meals and stuff, but we're pretty quiet the rest of the time. We've been in the ocean for some swims together and things like that, but. Um, anywho, I'm wearing this little PLT swimsuit and I thought I'd just give a fair warning. Got in the ocean today. This is in my vacation hall. And um, I looked down and I was like, oh my God, I'm pretty sure I can see my nipples through. And I was like, Hunter, is this bathing suit see-through? When, and he was like, yeah, literally, 1,000% these see-through. So I would not recommend getting the knockoff of the bathing suit in white, that is, because it is a little see-through. So luckily I had my long hair. I could kind of like put it over, but it was like a little mishap there. Um, so that was quite a nice surprise to have. But luckily we weren't here for that long today. So... Um, yeah, it's five o'clock. I think we're going to do a little dinner um, And I'd like to spend some time getting ready. That's the other thing. I'm quite slow these days, so It takes me like, a couple hours to get ready for dinner. Just like everything Oh my god, that boat is so close to those people it Just takes me a bit longer to get ready in the evening and I'm just Like feel like a little bit like a turtle. That's all that's funny is I don't know how long I'll have long hair for. I'll yeah. probably have it for another year or so, or maybe longer, I don't know. But I will say that if we ever have a daughter, you'll know how to break. I'll understand long hair better. Yeah, you will, huh? Than I would have. Especially if she has curls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my girl Delaney. This is like her signature hair. And I meant to have her do it on me when we were visiting them and we never got the, the opportunity. And then I tried it for the baby shower and it, I literally looked like a pattern for all. I was like, Delaney, what the actual hell? I sent her pictures and she was like, she's like, it just feels weird at first. Like you have to try it again. I was like, okay. So I actually do feel, feels a little more normal now that I'm wearing it like this. I've never put effort in my hair. Yeah. And I'm liking it now that I have been lately. Oh, good. Yeah, because you were a little frustrated with I was telling Julia I never brush my hair out. I just started brushing it like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But I like the way the curls are more when I brush it out and then I hydrate it. Yeah. And then kind of make it more wavy and messy after I brush it out. Yeah. Versus just letting it like air dry however I come out of the shower. Totally. Or putting it in a bun and letting it like all crimped. I also got this from Hunter at Target. Do you remember? It's a 10. And I just remember that conditioner, spray and conditioner being so popular. And I even used it in like high school. And I was like, that would be perfect because he's always using spray and conditioners. And um, I was like, that's probably perfect for his curls. And he's been loving it. That's his second bottle. So. How dress are you getting on it? I think I'm going to wear that black skirt and. Today, I don't even know if we're going to dinner yet. Nope, we have no idea. So, Hunter and I do vacations, we don't plan anything, and we both like hate <laughs> having to make plans. I don't know why. We like to have like good places to go, but we hate having to like call and make reservations and everything. So, we're just gonna look up a spot on the list and figure it out. All right, we're headed out for dinner. Hunter's just changing his pants really quick. I'm in this cute little Princess Polly get up. Our taxi's here, so here it is. In the vacation hall, you already know. 
that whole, I just showed everything that I packed basically. So, um, yeah, love this two piece set. I feel like it'd be so cute, not pregnant, just worn high waisted, but it's really cute if you want to do a bump out moment. Um, and I feel like in white, it would be so cute for a baby shower too. So, I'm gonna let them very handsome. It's a nice shirt. Thanks. Where'd you get that? Cute. What is the ASR? What's it called? Uh, SMR? SMR. Right, you have a room key. Thank you. Cool. All right, let's do it. Oh, we're going to the steakhouse at Carlton. It's called BLT. I BLT. think steak will actually be a nice change up from all the seafood. All right, at dinner, got some popovers. Oh, they look delicious. They're warm and look at the sea salt they bring you. Gorgeous. That's the key to my heart. This is a nice change up. Yeah. It's cool, we're sitting outside. There's the indoor section on that side and a casino next door. And the hotel is like brand new, supposedly, like the best yeah, like, year and a half. So, really modern. okay, those popovers were freaking fire. Uh, it was like a 15 out of 10. This is the best Salty, ever. crunchy, so buttery. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's a little cat here, by the way, just chilling, <laughs> waiting for food from people. <laughs> Looking down. Looking for fries. <laughs> um, and now we got our wedge salad, which also looks amazing, stunning. We got a steak and some mashed potatoes and some macaroni coming. I'm more excited. All right, everything's been fantabulous so far. I think it might be our favorite place that we've eaten. It's and most fresh, for sure. Most fresh. We've got some jalapeno mashed potatoes and a little steak that we're sharing, and then we got some mac and cheese too. So excited to try. 10 out of 10 so far. Good morning from the beach. The waves are absolutely huge today. Hunter is getting destroyed in there. And I don't know if BBH can handle those waves. I'm gonna need to get in there eventually, but they're pretty rough. Here's our handsome baby daddy. Walking back up. Sexy. <laughs> Pretty rough out there, isn't it? I <laughs> saw so you getting a little crushed. <laughs> Turned your back a few times, then the, the waves. It's hot today, too. I think it feels so hot. It feels pretty good. The water feels good. You should go check it out. God, it must just be me. I'm kind of scared of those waves with this belly. You try to get out like a certain distance. I know. Like, just go beyond where the waves are breaking and you're good. You know, one thing that's weird, I feel like my laugh has changed since I've become pregnant. Your laugh has changed? Did you notice that? Yep. I feel like when I laugh lately, I'm like, that sounds different than how I used to laugh. I don't know what happened. Something coming up. I brought um, up this hat thinking it'd be more sun today, and it's kind of cloudy. Yeah, a little cloudy right now, but it kind of breaks through. And I looked at the weather and said it's going to break through in like 30 minutes to an hour. Perfect. Well, it's our last beach day, and then I think we're getting massages tomorrow. Hunter, we were going to do a beach day tomorrow, but uh, we heard about a really good massage, like a really good spa. Yeah. On kind of the other side of the island. It's only like 10 minutes away. Uh, and I booked a Thai massage for me and a prenatal Mama Mia massage for Julia. Perfect. And we're going to do that instead of the beach tomorrow. I think that's Just because our flight's at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. So instead of coming out and getting like your swimsuits wet and just having like wet things in your bag. Just go get a massage and a massage, stay dry. Chill, get some coffee, walk around, hang out. Yeah. It's been the last day kind of exploring a little bit. Oh yeah, it's great. Let our, let our sunburn kind of chillax. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we've come up from the beach and we are headed to Hemingway's for lunch. There's a restaurant called Hemingway's. It started raining. And it started raining, so we were like, perfect timing. We got our umbrella and we're like, let's go check out Hemingway's for lunch. And um, we've heard good things, so we're gonna do a little outing. It's like a four or five minute taxi ride. Yeah. But it's hard to walk here. It would take a good a hour. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this is pretty. Anyways. It's okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Chicken cook. Yeah. What's up? We were just joking that I look like a pimp with my hat, <laughs> my stripes, and my umbrella. And our umbrella. Walking home from lunch, it's a 40, it's a 40 minute walk, but we're like, we probably need to do, get some exercise. 
so we're doing it. My back already hurts. There's kind of like one main little road through, just a one two lane road. Yeah. And this way, it's pretty much just one strip. Everything is on the strip, so you get it's just a straight shot. So I yeah. figured it wouldn't be that bad. We're stopping at Lemon to Go first for some coffee, some cafe au lait. Ooh. Came highly recommended by some of you guys, and other people on the island suggested it as well. What did you think of Hemingway's? Uh, yeah. I want to go back. I want to go back. It's basically like we could have stayed at our hotel and ordered stuff at the beach and have done the same thing. Yeah. But I wanted to check it out. We wanted it's worth to a see. shot. And now we know. So. But if you're staying there, it's like yeah, it's, you know, it's like pool food. Yeah, it's like pool food. Bar food. But I feel like our hotel pool food's better. For sure. All right, here we are. Lemon to go. They got coffee, fresh food, smoothies, and Wi-Fi. I'm not sure what Wi-Fi is, but we'll find out. Y'all, I'm kidding. All right, I know what Wi-Fi is. Thank you. Got some coffee. Here it is. Got a few things. Protein power balls. Energy balls with like dates and coconut, a couple wraps, sandwiches, salads, oatmeal, yogurt, all kinds of stuff, and then some coffee. So definitely feels more like American, California, Australian vibe in here. The pimp got himself a cookie. <laughs> mm, that's good. You're a little cookie bitch. What's next? Some chocolate chip. Oh. Really? Very moist. I think my body's craving oats. <laughs> that's what I usually have for breakfast. I know. They have oatmeal at the buffet. I'm joking. Oh. Just like <laughs> 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 Alright. take it so they off. We can order some when we get back to the hotel and room service. They have some. I'm like, I don't want that shit. I just want fucking no milk for these. <laughs> the thing is, I, I knew it was like a joke, but then like my brain took it a little bit more straightforward. And I was like, they have oatmeal. <laughs> have the other morning. It's been a great day. A great day. We watched the sunset and we can still see it now. It's going to be fun tomorrow, relaxing at our massage. Mm -hmm. Although the sunburn might hurt a little bit. I know. I feel like we haven't. The first day was when we got the sunburn, and so I feel like since then we haven't really had much harsher sun than that first day. I know, because we were like hiding. Well, and the clouds were out the next two days. We got full sun that first day. And so hopefully, I'm saying that because hopefully the sunburn pain might be gone by tomorrow. Yeah, I hope so. It's no joke. We were wearing SPF 50. And we got sunburned. Um, do I have like white below my eyes? It looked like that in the uh, photos. In the photos. Yeah. Maybe it's just like uh, where is you have the sunglasses. Does it look like that in person? Not too bad, no. Hmm. Maybe um, where you have the sunglasses on. Probably. The rest of your face got a little tan. Yeah. Probably a good thing. I'm looking over here at the Infinity restaurant, mm -hmm. and it's such a vibe in the evening. It is. It's I got cute. the lights on. And uh, we should go there tonight and just have a pizza. I think so too. Something chill. We're we're, like, we were going to venture out and go get food, but for the this is the first it. trip we've ever been on where we like don't care about venturing off and like exploring. We're just like, <laughs> let's just chill. We were so tired, you guys, this whole vacation. Like, Hunter and I didn't want to do anything. We're like, we everyone's chill. like, go on this boat ride and do this. We're like, we can't we're even move. Like, we just don't even want to barely take a tax, five minute taxi to dinner. We've, I don't know we've what also it done is. enough like boat slash yacht rides on vacations where it's like in We're a way good. they all kind of feel the same. And I'm not saying that like yeah. oh this one would have wouldn't have been cool. It would have been I'm cool sure with the been sunset beautiful. and stuff, but like I think one boat ride you've kind of done them, you know? Totally. All the same. They kind of are. Alright, I like the way my tattoo's looking from the inside. I yeah, never really see great. it from that angle. Really and so great. it makes me want to finish the rest of the half sleeve. I don't think I ever showed my tattoo, by the way. It's two different David statues. Mm -hmm. One by Michelangelo, one by Donatello. So it's basically two perspectives of the same person. 
and just a nice reminder that everyone has their own perspective and not to judge. That's right. So. It's cute. Yeah. Really good. This one is one that people don't really know about, the Donatello version. I like how it's just like the inside and then turn to the side, like how it's just like a peep and then, yeah. And then you got the goose. That's cute. Yeah. It's a good start. Um, I was going to... We start from back right there on the corner. Yeah. Right there? Um, uh, towards, towards my thumb. Right in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a bite. <laughs> I got a mosquito bite. Oh, my God. Itch it again. I swear I got bit. <laughs> Do you see a bite? Um, no. Right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I feel like there's texture. Really? Maybe. Uh, I think I got a bite. All right, folks. We'll be back. We're just greasing up. Every night after the shower, we've been, like, coating with tons of body butter and, like, oils and everything. And we just have to give a shout out to the MVP of our trip, which is the Primally Pure Body Butter, which we showed in a vlog in Nashville. I've been really into their products because they're all non-toxic and clean, but um, literally look how much of that we've used. It smells good. Almost half the tub. And it feels really nice on your skin. Eucalyptus and lavender, and it literally like, look at that sheen. A little greasy, but like for a beach trip, you kind of want oh, that because so nice. you really need the hydration. Look at the glisten. Gorgeous. Anyways, we love it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Are you done with I it? did get my bite, by the way. Yeah, he, there were two. That's where you're feeling in the hot tub one. Two. Yeah. Alright, I came up to grab the vlog camera because we forgot it. We were on our way to dinner and we were walking there and forgot the camera. So, Julia's already down in the lobby. We're walking to dinner. Walking to get some pizza. Honestly, yeah. not wearing makeup was the best decision of the trip for this dinner. This is the, the easiest it was to get ready for dinner. I'm like, hold on, what, what have I been doing? I mean, it's fun to like get dressed up, but damn. Okay, we're walking up. Here you go. All the lanterns and fire pit and live music. It's so fun. All right. Got our pizza. We got Miami Vice, Arnold Palmer, Arnold Palmer. and some pizza. We were both saying like, we just feel like we finally both started to relax. You know, like first two days of vacation, I don't know for anyone else, but for us it's a, a little hard to unwind at first. And then you by the right by the end, you're like, okay, I'm chilling now. <laughs> then you, and you go want, home. You want like a couple more days. I want yeah. at least one more full day. Yeah. But we're leaving tomorrow at three o'clock, so. It's gonna be good. We gotta get back for some, Exciting for some thang things. Thang things. Now we're excited to announce. We're excited for it. Anywho. All right. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna eat. When we were here the other night, we came here the first night, we were sitting at the bar, and this guy started talking to Hunter. He was from North Carolina. He's just traveling solo, so he started talking to him. And then we had a single girl sit on the other side of me at the bar. She was also traveling solo. Kind of talking to both of them. Mm -hmm. And then one of them would overhear like the other conversation and kind of like chime in. And we started to see like, oh, they're trying to chat they're with each other. They're trying to flirt. So Julie went to the bathroom and they were still kind of talking with each other across like over me. And I was like, hey, do y'all just want to sit next to each other? <laughs> and they're like, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> and so I scooted over one and he switched. They were supposed to go on a date the next they night. They went on a date the next night. We never, so we haven't seen them since because one of them had to leave on yesterday, but we were wondering how it went. Me so. and Julia the whole time, like after they were sitting next to each other, we were like, we're about to <laughs> For sure. <laughs> It was perfect, really. Mm -hmm. It was cute. All right, I'm yeah. gonna eat. I'm all ready. See you guys after the massage. I'm so excited. Oh my god, that was incredible, you guys. What an experience. I mean, it started raining during the massage, so I could just hear the rain beating down on the building. Oh my God, it was, you can't plan that shit. No, you cannot. And also they had a pillow where I could lay face down and there was like a bowl cut out for the belly. Oh my God, I laid on my stomach in like a couple of months and it was literally, I was like, this is the most amazing thing I've ever had. Okay, we're in the gift shop waiting for our text. Yeah. 
and there's how we could get a little plug. there's a kid section. We wanted to get something for the nursery. Hyatt and friends in the Turks and Caicos Islands activity book. Oh, this is more for like little a kids. little bit like toddler. How cute is this? It's a crab. And it's gold crochet. Good. Oh, forty two dollars. So right? Four hundred. Oh, four twenty one. Never mind. <laughs> All right, cats, yeah. okay, cats Coco Van, here it is. So cute. So Coco Bistro is in there. That's the main restaurant we went to the other night. But this is their food truck. And it's more of like a casual spot. But everyone has told us to come here. Like local people, taxi drivers, um, all the people that like grew up here. They're like, it's the best food. We've got like tacos, sandwiches, salads. Um, it's just super chill. And there's palm trees everywhere. It's really cute. So... So we're gonna eat, probably sit at one of those tables. It's really nice. Got a pink lemonade. It's so good. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. I think this is my favorite food that we've had. That's a fish taco. I got spicy and crispy steak tacos. A definite yes. If you're coming here. Yeah. Get it for lunch. Definitely say they know what they're doing here. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Yeah. On gonna a on a positive like, note, this yeah. food is so good. Highly so recommend. We already said that once, but come here. You won't regret it. Already planning our next trip out here. So yeah. We, obviously we really, really like liked Turks a lot. Yeah. Turks and Caicos. Caicos. Turks and Caicos. We'll leave everything we did in the description box. That got full itinerary, recommendations, how we yeah. felt about things. We'll let you know. Yeah. And we hope you give it a visit, give it a shot. And if you've never been here before, I think you'll like it. So, I feel like it's like popular, but kind of under the radar still. I don't know why. I know it's like, I know people are coming here often, but it still feels that I don't hear too many people coming here. Right? So, anyways, we hope you enjoyed. See you guys back in Nashville. Adios. You said take it slow, I know a back row. We can find a spot to be alone. We can sway back and forth to us on the radio. Cause you said that you were on mine Innocent look in your eye Nothing but time, kiss me all night And let's just take it slow